convertible. May seems a bit off. She doesn't know you. She'll warm up to you, eventually. She's always listening to music. Maybe try that. Oh, what kind? Pop? No, punk. Industrial? Drum and bass. I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably just ask her. peaceful from up here. my trash. I'm done talking, okay? This cozy fireplace hasn't been used in a while. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Found it. Box of Ned Nickerson. I apologize that I did not come to the phone in a timely fashion. Hi, Nancy. Hope everything's okay. I'm a little busy right now, but I can take a question or two. What can I help you with? Hey, Tegan. Of course, everything's fine. Just checking in with you. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm sorry for being snappy earlier. I've just been so... I've got everything under control. It's me that worries me. She acts tough, but she's still just a kid. And it makes me so angry that people will jump to conclusions when they don't even know her. I understand that. I promise I won't judge her unfairly. But also, don't forget to take care of yourself. Thank you. I'll try not to let the town get to me. I'm good for now. I'll let you get back to work. All right, see you tonight. I hope you make good progress today. May doesn't show it, but she's really counting on you. Thanks. I'll do my best to get to the bottom of this. See you soon. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm ghosting you. Try again later, or don't. At least she's honest. Hey, this is Nancy Drew. I have a couple more questions, if you don't mind. Oh, hello. I remember you, yes. Uh, sorry. Forgot about the time zones. It's fine, it's fine. What did you want to ask me? 
I want to know more about victims of witch trials. I see. Well, my focus lies on the Salberyako witch trials in and around Mosam Castle in the late 1600s. A clear but unusual pattern emerged for arresting, torturing, and executing at least 139 people. How awful. What do you mean by a pattern? The victims were social outcasts. Disabled, homeless, poor. Over half of them were mere children and juveniles that gathered in gangs of beggars and petty thieves to survive. Uncommonly, more than two-thirds of the accused witches in this case were male. That's so sad. They didn't stand a chance. Indeed. Their low social status left them vulnerable to public scorn and persecution, as they had no one to vouch for their whereabouts. One young man in particular was sought after but never found, Jakob Kohler. The rumors of his black magic grew wilder by the day, spiraling into a witch-hunting craze. Hmm. This is worrisome. I don't want the same thing to happen in Salem a second time. All the more important to educate about the past. Anything else you'd like to ask? Can you tell me any more about Judge Sewell? Ah, yes. Samuel Sewell was a man plagued by remorse about the Salem witch trials for the rest of his life. He came to realize witchcraft does not exist and saw misfortunes in his personal life as punishment from God for condemning innocent people on insubstantial evidence. At least he came to his senses. But too late to save the trial victims. I believe he tried to make amends in other ways. Although not free of problematic views of the time, Sewell did strongly protest against slavery, composing the earliest recorded anti-slavery tract of what was to become the United States. I'm not sure if that helps my investigation, but it's nice to hear people can learn and do better. Indeed. Any more questions? Did you find any more secrets on A.W. inside Judge Sewell's desk? <laughs> Nothing you hadn't already uncovered. It's an intriguing design, however, one that would become popular throughout Europe a century later, under the famous German cabinet maker, David Röntgen. I wonder how Sewell managed to be ahead of his time. The ghost of carpentry yet to come? What? The world has always been filled with crafty artisans. Another example of mechanical trick vessels and furniture can be found much earlier, in the 12th century works of chief engineer Ismail Altazari. Ah, oh, but I'm getting carried away. Wish I had the chance to crack the Book of Apologies, too. The A.W. Lock. You have no idea what that could be referring to. I'm afraid not. I've looked up a few options but found nothing I consider plausible. I'm sorry I cannot be of more help here, but if you find out, please let me know. I'm very curious about this myself. All right, thanks anyway. I'm on it. Right, good. Any more questions? I'll let you get back to your evening. Night? Thank you for taking time for me. It was nice talking to you again. You're welcome. Oh, please stay in touch with any historical discoveries you make. I greatly appreciate it. Will do. I was just thinking about you. How's the investigation going? Any new leads? Hey, Dad. I feel like I'm making headway. Leaving no stone unturned? Things aren't always what they seem. Yeah, I know that, Dad. I'm meticulous as always. Atta girl. Unfortunately, your good old dad has some cases of his own that require his attention. But keep me updated on your progress. Will do. Talk to you later. Love you. Love you too, kiddo. Bye.
Well? This must be May's lighter. Hi. Guess what I found? Oh. Didn't think you'd actually do it. Where'd you find it? Outside the front door. Are you always snooping around? I have a knack for finding things that other people miss. Thanks. This means a lot to me. with the judge. They don't have anything on you. All we need is an alibi, and then they can't charge you with anything. And they're not going to have anything on me, because he can't prove I did it. Then why not just give the police an alibi? That's all they need. I just can't. It's not only about me, okay? Okay, I understand. But I can't help you or anyone else if I don't know who they are. Just, I... I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I can't. May, I know you don't know me that well, but I'm here to help you. I didn't burn down the Hathorn house. Okay. Why does everyone think you did? It's called prejudice. I look different. Or something like that. That doesn't seem like a good reason to burn down a building. What can I say? You're stupid. Did you ever visit the estate? All the time. I appreciated it. Oh? Why? Because it's historically significant? It was built by a cold, brutal man who sent a bunch of people to their death because he didn't understand them. I appreciate being reminded of what happens when greedy people stay in charge. Your sister really cares about you. She has a strange way of showing it sometimes. Well, she cared enough to get Deirdre and I involved. I worry about her. How come? She takes her work really seriously. Like, she cares. A lot. Like, way more than most normal people do for their passion projects. It's not a hobby. It's more like something she has to do. Kinda sounds like me. I hope not. It's like her personal crusade. Like, only she can make it better or something. You can't live your life like that. You need to enjoy it. Enjoy it with the people you love. Yeah, believe me, I know. Can you tell me anything about Olivia Ravencroft? Anything at all? I can tell you she doesn't get along with my sister. Really? Why? I don't know. They had some falling out a while ago. You should ask her. Do you think Olivia would have any reason to light the Hathorn house on fire? Let me put it this way. Olivia is what we call in this town part of the witch business. Anything dramatic, spectacular, or with fire, she's usually involved. So you think she did it? I didn't say that. I just think it's possible that she could have. Okay, thanks. Did you know Frances Tuttle very well? No, but I know her daughter Lauren has that shop, Luminous Infusions. You ever been inside? No, why would I go there? I was just wondering if you knew her. I don't. I mean, I know she used to hang with my sister back in the day, but I guess they fell out or something. That's all I know. Do you and the judge know each other? Have a history? The man thinks I'm a bad influence. Why? Because I used to be friends with his son. His son has had an interesting life, and he thinks it's my fault. He holds a grudge against me. Really? That sounds surprising. You live in a small town long enough, people make up their minds about who you are. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. It just is. I'm done talking, okay? Well? She's protecting something. Or someone. Okay, yeah, obvi. But what? I don't know yet. I'm getting through to her, though. We have to go to the Hathorn house. Tonight. Tonight? Like, in the dark? Yeah. 
Do you have flashlights? You do remember what I told you about that place, right? You know what? Better idea. I'll go. You stay here and see if maybe May feels like talking to you. Be careful out there, Drew. There's no such thing as ghosts, Deirdre. I'll be fine. No, not ghosts. People swear there's something in that house. Too many people believe it to not be true. Could be a wild animal or a toxic waste dump, I don't know. Just keep your guard up, okay? Oh, wow, that was really sweet. Yeah, all right, let's not hug or anything. You should check in with Lauren Holt. She still lives up there. Take the keys for my car. It's way too far of a walk all the way there. And remember, things happen after midnight in Salem. <sighs> Be careful.